Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at three ways to stop driver updates in Windows. Now, if you've got a Windows operating system, device drivers are important for the functionality of Windows and all of hardware devices on your computer. Now, Windows normally takes care of a lot of these for you, but sometimes you can run into issues and disabling the automatic driver updates uh, can get you out of a, a jam when you've got say for instance a graphics driver that windows is installed in that you don't want to install and it's continuously uh, installing after you uh, remove it or uninstall it it will automatically put it back onto the system which obviously gives you some sort of issue let's just take a look at how we can uh, stop this so first off you want to check which version of windows that you are running this is the very latest version of Windows 11, 22H2, at the time of making this video. Also, we're running Windows 11 Home. Now, if you're running the Home Edition, then the Group Policy part will not apply to you because a Group Policy Editor is not in Windows 11 or Windows 10 Home Editions. You can see here, this is the Home Edition, but I will show you the Group Policy Editor on a different uh, machine or pro version so let's go ahead and take a look at the three ways of stopping uh, driver updates um, whether you want to do it temporarily or whether you want to do it permanently this is how you can do it so the first way we're going to take a look at doing this is by going to control panel so first off type control panel inside the search box and you should see control panel appear click on this one and then what we're looking for in the category section we're on the category area here we're looking for hardware and sound. So look for hardware and sound, click on this. And then from here, devices and printers, click on this one here, and it opens up the Windows 11 uh, settings panel. If you're on Windows 10, it might be different. View, click on view more devices, and then go down in the list. And again, because we're on Windows 11, you have to do multiple clicks to get to a location. And uh, here we are, more devices again, and this will open up this box. This used to open up with just one click, and now you have to do, you know, three or four clicks. So what we can do here is right click on the device itself. This is a laptop. If yours is a desktop, there'll be a desktop picture there. Right click, and you should now see device installation settings. Click on this one, and another box will open up and say in device installation settings. You can see, yes, recommended by Microsoft. If you temporarily want to stop it, just push the radio button in no here and what this will do is disable the device drivers which are automatically installed by microsoft and again once you're having an issue with a particular type of hardware you can then now restart the system and then uninstall that driver and it will stop it from downloading automatically so next up uh, is going into the registry editor so type reg edit in search and open up the registry editor and then what we need to do is go to uh, this location so inside here we're looking for h key local machine open this one up here and then you should see a tree of uh, areas we can go to here so what we want to do is go to software then click on the little arrow button here and this opens it up from here we're going to go microsoft click on microsoft and then we're going to open this up a little bit more so you can see just drag the bar down a little bit here until we get to the location where we want to go to in this case it's windows open the little arrow up again from here current version just the little arrow again and then this opens up this one here and from here we want to go to the next location which is down the list a bit so let's go down the list and we're looking for driver searching so look for driver searching and there we go on the right hand pane you should see search order config and you should see there's a value of one in there double click on it and you set the value to zero and this will disable it click ok then restart your pc and then you can continue on uninstalling the driver you want to uninstall and then reinstalling the driver you want to reinstall so let's go to a restart here and once we've restarted what we're going to do is go to the group policy editor if you're on windows 11 or windows 10 pro type gp edit msc in the run box and then click ok and this will open up the group policy editor from here we're going to pull this open here so we can see it a bit more clearly 
once we've got this open, we're going to be going to Computer Configuration, then Administrative Templates. Open this, this one up here. Then we're going to go down to where it says System. Click on the System. And then from System, we're going to go to our next location. So open this up. Let me just stretch this out a little bit so you can see a bit more. We're looking for here uh, Device Installation. And once we get device installation open, let me expand this a little bit more. And then underneath device installation, we just want to use the little arrow key and open this up because there's another section what we need to go to here. So let's just quickly drop this down. There we go. You should now see uh, device installation uh, restrictions. So click on here. And what we're looking for is a bunch of options available here, prevent and allow. So we're going to be preventing uh, the installation of devices not described by other policy settings. So click on this one here, and this will open up another box. And from here, we're going to be enabling this feature. If you look in the text here on this little pane, it will tell you basically what enabling does and what disabling does. In this case, we want to enable uh, this policy, and uh, we're going to enable it, and then click Apply and OK and this will put this policy in place. Now, there's a bunch of other good policies inside the Group Policy Editor. So now we can close this off. And now to make this uh, policy set, we need to go to Search and type CMD and run this as Administrator. This, this will open up the Command Prompt box. Inside here, we're going to type GP Update and then space forward slash force and then push enter and this will make these policies in place here and saves you restarting the pc and that will be it that will now that stop windows from installing device drivers for you automatically once you've done what you need to do you can reverse this if you want to you only need to do one of these uh, to fix your issue and again if you're not having any issues with this then you don't need to uh, disable uh, device drivers automatically installing by microsoft if you don't want to uh, but if you do want to take more control over the, what devices are installed or updated by Microsoft, then this is how you can disable it. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.